Hello, so today I will show you of course my Everest defense replace Big change, kind of Because this week I started With an attempt at a stall team However, this is very incomplete And I didn't expect this one to work very very well but I still wanted to give it a try. So the idea is I have armor units, everyone with Bolt Fighter, Escutcheon, or Pavis. And I lack units and fodders. I know it, and I have no merge on important units such as Brave Actor and very bad IVs. Minus defense. So, the ideal situation could be something that look kind of like that. You have two armor units moving one space each reposition. So, if Brave Actor move and chase, he move one space, Mamori move one space, reposition. And they are back at the original position. They are not moving. It's done in such a way to make my opponent waste turn to chase them. Same thing here. You have two armor units with bolt fighter reposition, or you have two infantry units with reposition, but they must have different colors and damage reduction or follow up negation. So Corinne, I use her now because she is a bonus unit and she has damage reduction. But I know it's kind of a problem here because um, having four dragons is kind of dangerous. Because of Naga. So as you can see the title of the video, it didn't go well. Those four matches Three complete failures. That is not looking good. Three complete failures and one win. And this win is from someone who didn't make good decisions at some point and wasted too many turns. And these players almost got me. Almost. That was already a big warning at the start of day one. But the idea is that I kind of expected players to take their time clearing this kind of map because in a stall team the players feel no pressure at all at playing fast. So this is something that I expected. And this is why I believe a good stall team with good units, good skills, some merges might eventually work. So I am not giving up at making a very good stall team in the future. I wanted to give it a try and see how players react and play against this kind of setup. But yet, at some point, I have to stop because three complete failures is too much for me. So here, that's very important, the escutcheon bolt fighter combination on Duma and reposition loop on both armor units, forcing my opponent to chase them and waste turn. This is why uh, armor units are so good at making my opponent waste so many turns. The only problem is that they are weak to armor effectiveness. And we don't have a Svalin Shield Sacred Seal. I'm waiting for it. But yeah, 
This is why maybe you want some armor units mixed with infantry units with special skills like nega uh, follow up negation, damage reduction. Because armor weakness is kind of a problem for you eventually. So, this is something that bothered me because I have miscalculated. I know that my brave actor has no much and very bad IV. You want for most units used in a store team plus defense. For almost everyone plus defense is a requirement. But still I have three mythics and it is brave actor. He gets also plus five buff defense from joint home death. I expected Brave Actor to survive Duolin, but I made a mistake. I didn't use the battle simulator and try. Because look at this. That looks so bad. Because, in fact, I know he didn't have a good IVs. He has no merge and I don't have the support of Destin Guard, as you can see. But still, I mean, Lin could hit a lot harder. Because even though she gets Joint Drive Attack effect, she didn't get the Bond of Alpha, giving plus 6 attack. This Plumeria has Flower of Plenty. So this Lin didn't get the Flower of Plenty buff, and she didn't get the God Flowers. And you can even add another drive attack on top of it. So this dueling can hit a lot harder than this. So even with plus defense brave actor, I wonder if he can really survive Lin. I don't know. She's so strong. She has no problem killing anything in this game. I mean, look, even Dussel. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like a joke. I mean, uh, you get the idea. It's not enjoyable to watch, but you need to find a solution. Stacking a lot, a lot of... Ward Armor and Destined Guard if you want to survive Duolin. She's very strong and deserves serious consideration. And this is a very strong Corin. She can basically solo the entire map if she wants. But here, the interesting data is that even this player, I mean, look, played really badly and made some bad decisions. And even this turn, look, wasting time and wasting some important actions. So now turn three. There is no initiation yet. And even turn 4, no initiation. So yeah, like I said, a very good high investment store team. I think I can see it being effective. Because if players waste so many turns like that, you can win the match at turn 7 because they cannot kill everyone. So here with the help of Divine Fang, you, you should expect Corin to destroy everyone. She is very strong.
I mean, look, Namori is very good. She's really, really good. Awesome unit. Uh, if you consider one day a stall team, I think Mamori is a very good candidate along with Brave Actor. And this one is the last match. Kind of a funny team because they use three mages of different colors. I don't see that often people use all the time super tank melee. But anyway, it's very interesting to see Lilina, she's very good in Everett's offense and defense. So at least this player didn't waste too many turns before starting the initiation. So as I said before, there is definitely some hope for Stall Team, but uh, this is not the right moment for me. So now I switch back to my return trap, but here there is a problem. Because my Mirabilis is no longer a bonus unit and she is Unfortunately, minus HP, and I want her to be plus HP. So they don't have the same HP, those units, but still there is a solution. I, I will tell you why. But let me show you this. I like this map because no one else uses it, and because this has some special terrain here with the trees, forcing the dancers to move forward. But here, as you can see, Mirabilis moves to the left. And that is for one reason. Lysifia, she's threatening this area. So Mirabilis is not moving here. It's not like um, a special terrain is not like a defense tile. A defense tile doesn't care about threats because it will always move onto the defense tile, always to make the assist. But yes, because this special terrain here is now is not a defense tile, Mirabilis choose to avoid Lysifia by moving to the left. So because of that. Mirabilis positioning, she cannot provide the ground orders to Sarah, so Sarah cannot target Leaf. So she has no other targets than Bernadetta. So the situation here is not ideal for me. So yeah. I said that um, I can use a trade fruit on Mirabilis, but she will return soon with Lilina, and Lilina is my merch project for Arena Fire Season. So I am considering later going for Mirabilis to fix the IV, and at the same time, hoping to get a plus 10 on Lilina. So I am not using a trade fruit here 
because also I don't think it's needed. I think I can do it without it. The situation is not ideal, however. But well, because uh, before I explain this, the reason why Sarah decides to heal both Peony and Mirabilis is only because of sudden panic. It lowers visible stats and because I have 45 cavalry, both Rolf and Leaf, they are now panicked, which is really bad. So, now, now, now let me explain this. You can work with dancers and make sure the dancers, both dancers, cannot be isolated. The only thing you want and you need is the two dancers must have the same HP and lowest HP, except for Sarah. Because as you can see, both dancers have 49 HP and the calves more than 50 HP, including Seros. Which means, which is very important, if one of these, either Mirabilis or Peony, they are the target of isolation, Kia staff will protect both of them. Both will have no penalty anymore. So you cannot isolate anyone here. You cannot isolate Sarah, Sarah because she ends turn. If you isolate either Peony or Mirabilis, Kia staff will be triggered and protecting both of these because they have the lowest HP and the same HP. So if you find it very difficult or impossible to get the same HP for all of your units, at least you can do that. Make sure your two dancers have the same HP and the lowest ones. So while you can work with this, I still think the situation is not ideal because What happens is that if both dancers have the benefit of Kia staff, this means they get plus 6 in attack and speed buff, which means the dancers will have higher visible stats. And because I use two range cavalry, Duo Leaf and Halloween Rolf, there is the decent chance that Mirabilis or Duo Peony will end up having more visible stats than either Duo Leaf or Halloween Rolf, which means Sarah will use Return on Mirabilis and Peony, which is not a good thing. So this is why the ideal situation is having everyone same HP because as you can see earlier some people might use panic manner or su sudden panic if they use sudden panic now I'm screwed because Sarah will use return on both dancers and she will not move forward and return Leaf and Halloween Roth as you can see now. And this is also why I need 45 cavalry on Bernadetta. Because Bernadetta will provide visible buff to Halloween Roth and Leaf. Because I want to make sure Sarah will use the return assist on both cavalries. This is why they need to have a much higher visible stat.
and if of course we have the same HP, if all units have the same HP, this means you cannot panic anyone. So if all of my units get plus 6 in all stats, because of fortified cavalry and because of Kia staff, that's a good thing for me. They survive turn 1 and they hit super super hard. So the turn 1 is truly aggressive. I will get almost a guaranteed kill in turn 1. So this Artina is very interesting, a Winter Artina, no summoner support, but still buff and debuff stacking, and yet she cannot kill Halloween Rove, and this is because of the buff, this is why I really insist on trying to use defense buffs for your calves. They want to survive the first hit and make the follow up and kill. I mean everyone in AR offense use visible buff so don't be too scared and try using buffs if you have Harsh Command Plus, or if you have Restore Plus, Odd Recovery, Kia Staff, there are many many ways today to neutralize penalties and panic. But my, the idea here is not being too afraid or shy for you, from, you know, using buffs. You have to use buffs because they use plenty of buffs and they use debuffs so if you use buffs at least you can survive and kill them easy easily So this is not a bad move, of course. You kill all one of the dancers. And why this is not a bad move is because uh, this guy has attack death solo and Bernadetta speed solo, so she's not about to make follow up. I will have to change the, the A slot, I think I need eventually ARD attack speed. We will get a banner soon, duo special hero, and I expect Dancer Eflin to be there. So yeah, I will try to get some premium stuff. So yeah, um, in, in general, as you can see, what is very important um, during this video, you have seen that even though all of my units didn't have the same HP, at least Bridal Fjorm is kind of useless. You cannot expect to isolate one of these because it doesn't work for reasons I have mentioned before. For a good return trap, 
you want the two dancers to dance first thing and you want to use the good targets of return here I have dual leaf and Rolf as main targets for my return trap but at least you want the two dancers to move so that's very important so yeah I think uh, I hope re really that it helps you build a consistent return trap because I know it's not easy thing to do uh, it requires some uh, luck with respect to IV and having the good folders, the good units it's not easy to get the perfect HP matching because you have to consider the two mythics in use so yeah so yeah anyway that's it for today thanks for watching guys